Autodesk Inventor's Simplify toolset allows us to create a simplified version of an existing 3D CAD model to use in our large assemblies or drawings, for simulation studies, or for collaboration on a BIM project. Autodesk Inventor 2022 streamlines the Simplify workflow in a property panel format and adds new options to exclude embossed features and save our settings as presets. Let's begin by going to the Assemble tab, Simplification panel, Simplify command. And we'll see that the new Simplify command is now a Properties panel. This allows us to dock the Properties panel to the side, or maybe even above the browser, or we could add it as another tab to the browser. We'll begin by taking a look at our outputs. We could output our simplified assembly to a brand new part file. This means there'll be no link between the assembly and the part file. Or we could output to a substitute. This will replace all the components in this assembly with one part file, which would be a multi-body representation of this assembly. And the nice thing about that is we can toggle backwards and forwards. And because the two are linked, if we update the assembly, we'll also update the substitute. And finally, we have the option here to export to a Revit project, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. So let's take a look at the inputs, and you can see that we can use a model state, a view, or a positional representation, and we can link our view to our simplified representation. So if we update our view, our simplified representation would also update. Now let's take a look at excluding components. So the first thing we may want to do is exclude components just using their size. So you can see that we can add different values in here to exclude different sizes of components. And if we'd like to see which components have been excluded, we can toggle that view on here, and then we can select components and say, please remove all components that are smaller than this one. And then we can go back to the included components, and perhaps we could exclude a few more. We can, of course, um, exclude individual components. So this just allows us to select the components that we'd like to get rid of, and we can select them individually. Now, apart from removing components, we can also remove features. You might be familiar with this from the previous versions of the Simplify command. So for example, we could take the holes and remove all holes from the model, or we could remove a range by selecting a hole. And in this case, all holes that are smaller than this diameter would be excluded from our model. You can see that we could remove fillets, chamfers, pockets. New for 2022, we can also remove all embossed features. And in fact, we can preserve features. So in the same way that we can include or exclude parts individually, we could select an individual feature, which we feel is really important to include in our simplified model. And we can override the uh, remove features properties here. So let's click on highlight and you can see we'll get a nice preview here of which features will be excluded from our simplified model. Now I'm just going to click cancel and I'm just going to point out a couple of options you may be interested in if you're exporting a simplified model to Revit. And the first thing is that we can export apart from from the simplify command, export, export Revit. And this will also start the simplify command, but as you can see, the type has already been set to Revit model for us. Now, when we pick Revit model as an output, we can look here at the structure. Now, this is going to be outputted as a Revit project. Previously, we could only export Revit families. So Revit families could be thought of as like a subcomponent um, that can be placed into your Revit model as many times as you like, and they can go wherever they like. A Revit project could be seen as a complete subassembly, and we link the Revit project in so that we can share the same coordinate system. This allows us to collaborate on projects where we could design large items in Inventor and then have them exported out to Revit, sharing the same coordinate system so that we can compare and contrast and collaborate on our design model. The structure command allows us to toggle between one element, which means that in a Revit schedule or Revit tag, it would just be one item, or each top level component, which allows us to tag and schedule the top level components inside Revit. Now, another simplification tool which we haven't looked at yet is the replace with envelopes. And this allows us to replace the entire model with just one big bounding box that represents the entire thing. Or we could go to each top level component and replace each one of those with a bounding box. Or we can actually create a bounding box for each individual part. 
So this is just a really quick way to simplify all the components down to a level that is suitable for our BIM exchange. Now, one last thing to show you here is our presets. We could save all of these settings to share with our colleagues or just to reuse over and over again on the same project. And we have some presets built in. So this one, for example, removes the least amount of detail. This one here will remove some moderate detail. And the final one will remove most amount of detail, which replaces everything with a bounding box. So when we're done, we would click OK and we would have our export to Revit. So I hope that you found this quick dive into the improved simplification tools into Autodesk Inventor 2022 helpful. And we look forward to hearing your feedback.